guys thank you for watching my video I'm sorry if you can hear all those like sounds from airport and and also the highway the weather is pretty nice it's sunny and yeah it's actually winter in Okinawa maybe Okinawa winter is nothing to you guys but <laughs> for us it's still really cold it's like 16 degrees right now and uh, Okinawa is an island so it's pretty windy but today luckily the wind is not too bad so my little fire stove nano is doing well <laughs> against the wind today I wanted to test out my new knife that I was gifted in July for my birthday present <laughs> it's been like five months since I got it we had long-term lockdown for like a few months Whew. so yeah I didn't really have chance to test it out but like I guess it's the time yeah, this is the knife the name of the company is Haruta Force. I'm sure you guys know this is a really famous uh, company. Actually, I still have the tag on it. The model is OK4. It's called Outdoor Knife. It's got some kind of coating here. Also, it's got like measurement in inches and also centimeters. So it could be useful in some illustration. I think it's got Scandinavian grind here, which I love. So, yeah, I like it. Today was the first time for me to use this knife, but it, that was pretty sharp. And what I liked about this is the length. It's pretty convenient length. And also this back of the knife is pretty edgy. So it can strike the fire steel, no problem, which is really nice. And actually, so this fire steel was gifted as well, but um, it's got deer antler and also this like metal like striker thing. And this knife actually did a better job than this striker thing. Yeah. Like it's it's pretty pretty aggressive. The seat by itself, it's like a kind of plastic kind of seat. I hope you can see it. There is little loop that it can hold fire steel and it's pretty stretchy. I think it's made of rubber inside so it can spread out depending on the size of your fire steel which is nice yeah like that and also the handle is like rubbery and there is like a little bit of like cut so I guess it depends on the person you know but for me it's pretty comfortable it's got a good grip and here there's like a little tip so it's hard for your fingers to slide it's like a stopper for that which is nice it's made of carbon steel so uh, when you sharpen it it should be easier to sharpen cross impression i like it yeah i can see myself using it more my tea and it's getting dark and that was a nice little outing so thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye